What's crumbling cookies? Welcome to another episode of Q&A with Zooks and I decided I want to do Q&A every month, beginning of every month. So this is officially my second Q&A and first in this year. So let's start off with January questions. I posted, I posted a Facebook update and an Instagram update about me wanting to make some Q&A. So people responded and I'm just gonna go through the questions. First one was why are you a ginger? Seriously, why am I a ginger? So let me tell you, when you're bored, you're like in a big white room, there's a guy called Dave, he gives you a pen and says, what color do you want your hair to be? And I remember, I clearly remember, Dave gave me a pen, I was like, ginger. I really don't understand those people who are like, oh, I wanna be black hair, and then they're dying their hair, ginger, seriously. Do you prefer modeling or acting roles? I love this. I dedicated my life to modeling and I'm, a, I'm still a fashion, fashion model, I'm a stock model, I'm a runway model. But currently, in the last year, let's call it a year, I prefer acting roles. I started vlogging, I started filming and I really see myself more into acting than modeling. Of course, I still love modeling, but acting is like, mm, yama! Why did you start making videos? Does it take a lot of time? So you see this set, I'm just sitting in my room filming. It took me around 20 minutes just to make a set. There is a set, lights and everything. When you're working alone, you have to focus everything on your own. You can't really rely on autofocus 100% of the time. So it takes a bit of time. It takes me around 15 to 20 minutes just to prepare myself for shooting. Like there is nothing in the room, there is nothing on the set. It takes me 20 minutes to prepare it. And why did I start shooting? Why did I start making videos? Well, it's simple. I was always on the other side of the lens. I mean, on, on this side, I'm still, I'm still on this side of the lens. Then, nevertheless, a couple minutes ago, I was on the other side of the lens. So I started loving the productional part of the filming, of of modeling, of everything, and. I told to myself, I'm not interested in making pictures of people. If I ever consider doing photography, I'll do, I don't know, real estate photography or something like that. I'm not interested in making any photos of people, but I love filming people. Not in a naughty way, in a regular way. I love shooting people and I actually got myself in a, in a loop where I shoot people, edit, shoot people, edit, shoot people, edit, and in a lack of people willing to pose for me and act in my scenes, I shoot myself. And that's how I started actually the whole filming process and why did I start? I started as I love it. I, I just realized I love it and phew, let's go make some movies. Next one, what are the best clothing stores for guys in Belgrade in your opinion? Especially suits and shirts and it got a couple of likes so people are following on this question. I'm gonna give you, give you a little hint, I'm always in suits, shirts, polos or something. I would go to say Zara. Zara is your to-go place because it's pretty much cheap considering Serbian prices not that much cheap but considering all the other stores that are selling suits they're pretty much cheap what does that mean it means they are actually giving you a full beneficial of 100 euro suit so you are rarely being able to find a suit for less than 100 euros but in Zara you can get a really nice blazer and pants could combine into suit for less than 100 euros now there's like a winter Christmassy sales, you can get your suit under let's say 70 euros or something. So I would recommend Zara if you're not able to do custom made suits and shirts, if you're on a budget and you still want to look decent, forget about the money, forget about those big name brands, go for Zara because they have really good suits on a budget. Next one, do you often dream of me or it was just a one eye thing? So this is my friend from Croatia and I remember texting her. Hey girl, I had a dream about you, nothing what you think of, it was like a regular dream, she, was, she just appeared there singing or something and I remember calling her and telling her that and she was like, yeah, okay, I don't think she's making a joke about this, but no, I never dreamed about you again, it was just, it was just a one I think, sorry about that. Next one, who is the most unlikely person you have ever bumped into on Balkanska Street? So there's this guy, Zach, he just posted this question. 
he he is a guy from from Britain, but th there's a story about him. This is a picture of him, and trust me when I say this is a crazy story. His parents are like from Japan and Jamaica, so he is British, but he has an afro, and he is black, but he is Asian. He like the most unthinkable guy you can ever meet ever anywhere. I actually met him a couple years ago on a music festival and we've been friends ever since. But yeah, I just bumped into him last night and it was like, dude, what are you doing here? He's like really obsessed with our nation and with our culture and he just told me Happy New Year in Serbia and I was like, dude. So he really got himself into Serbian language. Now switching to Instagram. I posted an Instagram story saying people shoot me some questions and let's go to that department. The first question from Instagram was why did you stop doing daily videos? I mean I said that in one of my one of my videos. I guess you didn't watch that one. So I, I said that doing daily videos is a tough job and it's a two-aged blade. What does it mean? It means that on one side you're giving a lot of yourself, like you're giving your time, you're giving your resources, you're doing a lot of work and on the other side not so many people appreciate videos every day and a lot of my friends told me Zooks it's okay but I really don't have time to watch your videos every single day and you, I said you know what I was just chasing the 100, 100 vlogs in a, in a row I, I did like 103, 104 or something, I didn't count it the Sunday ones, but if I count them it was more than 110 definitely. So I told to myself, I wanna, I wanna start doing more quality work on control of more quantity work, so that's why I stopped doing dailies. Another question from Instagram, <laughs> this is a tricky one, where do you work? Well, uh, well, uh, <laughs> alright, so I'm not employed like employed in this country so I don't have my working hours, I don't have a boss or anything but I work on multiple places, let's start from modeling, I'm a, I'm a fashion model so that means I'm a, I'm a full-time freelancer as a model, I'm waiting for an opportunity to jump in, I'm waiting for a photographer to come like hey Zooks we're doing a like great shooting, wanna come? and stuff like that so I'm a model on the other side, I work as a business coach. I have my own business coaching agency and business coaching is not really recognized as a profession in Serbia, so I'm not employed in this, in this country. So I'm a model, I'm a business coach and I'm a preschool teacher, but now focusing on elementary school kids. I work in a private institution where I teach kids how to be better citizens, how to be better pals, how to get rid of the stage fright and stuff like that. So I'm kind of making little kids be more confident about themselves in the era of internet bullies and everything. And a couple of a couple of the kids found me on YouTube. They're like, oh, I watch your videos on YouTube. I subscribed. I have no idea what you're saying. I'm like, even better if you don't understand what am I saying. All right, guys, that was it for this Q&A. It was a couple of the questions, but make sure to stay tuned until February. Cause I'm gonna make another Q&A in February and so far if you have some of the questions make sure to put them down in the comment below I will make sure to answer them and if you wanna watch them to be in a video please wait for the February thank you guys for watching this it was my pleasure answering your questions see you guys in the next vlog bye to stay tuned not so people uh, not so people seriously all the other store stores stores make sure to taste but this taste to, to stay.